This is how to set up Office 365 on your iPhone or iPad, your iOS devices. It's the same for either one. And you have two ways to do this. The first way will integrate Office 365 with the iOS devices, mail, contacts, and calendar apps already installed. The second way that I will show you is to install the Microsoft Outlook app and connect that to your Office 365 account. The first method we will use, which is to connect to the existing apps, is to go to the Settings app, and then from there we will find Mail. Once we're there, we will go to Accounts, and in Accounts, we will go to the bottom and click Add Account. And then the type of account you're gonna add is an Exchange account. And what you're going to add is your email address, your password. You can change the description. I prefer Office 365 to the more generic exchange. Click Next. And you can see that's it. Now it can link to the Office 365 servers for all five of these items. If you don't want to use reminders as an example, you can turn that off or notes. It's your choice. That's it, hit save, you're done. And your account is now available to you through your mail, contacts, and calendar app on the device. So if I go to mailboxes, and you can see it's downloading the, the messages. So that's method number one. Method number two, a little bit more involved, is to go to the app store. Once you're there, you're gonna search for Outlook, you're going to download the Microsoft Outlook app. Once it's downloaded, you can open it. Click Get Started. If you want notifications, click Notify Me, otherwise click No Thanks. So now I'm going to enter the email address. Now I'm going to type the password. Click the sign in button. So I'm not gonna add another account now. And then they've got this thing called focused inbox. I'm not a user of it. You can see they have calendar and attached files, etc. So we can skip that. Now that I'm here, if you look at the bottom row of icons, you can see your mail, your calendar, your files, because this thing attaches to OneDrive, which you can also download and add to your iOS device as a separate app, your contacts, aka people, and your settings. So that's it. Not terribly hard.